Well, there's a few bits in this book that may have come from your own experience. There's a, there's a game show host and a, and, a, mm. and a game show involved in it, and there's a, an, an author who's, who comes up with quite bad titles for his, for his, for his, <laughs> his books. <laughs> yeah, there, there's um, like one of Mike Waghorn, the, the news reporters. I'm not, I won't give away any spoilers, I absolutely promise you, but one of his previous co-hosts was this woman called Fiona Clements who's gone on to become a big quiz show host. Uh, and essentially I send Joyce and Elizabeth off to watch her recording her daily quiz show at Elstree Studios, which is where we, um, where, where, where we do Pointless. Uh, and I say, no spoilers, but they're both carrying a bag, and in Joyce's bag there are fruit pastels, and in Elizabeth's bag there's a gun. <laughs> Apart from that, <laughs> there's no spoilers. But that was fun, that was fun to do. So the, set, the, the plot is not based around this daytime quiz show, but writing a scene... You know, somewhere essentially, I was writing the, the you know the place where, where I work and thinking how lovely it would be to have Elizabeth and Joyce sort of come to visit. Yeah, uh, and little things like the copy editor, who's always you know who's the person who says, um, uh, "You say that the nine thirty five Polgate to Victoria train has a trolley. Uh, it doesn't have a trolley <laughs> anymore. Uh, so that's their job." And there's they said, I do, "You say that the uh, the studio is very very cold." Would a would a TV studio really be that cold? <laughs> and I'm, I'm remembering a note back from an edit where they couldn't work out why they couldn't hear the audience. And then they had a shot of the audience and they realised they were all wearing gloves so you couldn't hear on clap. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've been in the, in the Pointless uh -huh. video many times, unsuccessfully. <laughs> uh, and so you were, I, I think before your most recent thing, you were the, you were the least successful <laughs> contestant in Pointless Celebrities history, is I that right? I don't know if that, that's true. Uh, and it I was think... always my partner's, but one of my partners was my wife, so I can't, I'll, I'll, blame her. <laughs> I'll blame her for that.